Hey you guys, Ryan, Paul, and Heather. Resell CMY. Heather has her own YouTube channel too. Hey guys, go follow me on YouTube under Resell RAR and Ryan will pop it up here. Yeah, I'll show a screenshot of her channel, so go uh, give her a sub. Um, she's joining us today. We're gonna do a haul video real quick. Uh, purchase me and Paul picked up Friday. Yep, Friday. We were going uh, garage sale and we spent about $100 on garage sale items and we also spent like $500 on train stuff. You can kind of see the piles of stuff here behind me. Um, I'll just go right to the garage sale stuff first. You can see it's not uh, a terribly large amount of stuff, but uh, we did okay, we think. Um, you want to start talking about yeah, it? Yeah, we spent $97 total, so 100 bucks garage selling. Um, this music box right here, I think this is going to go for at least $70. Yeah, that's a uh, Mr. Mr. Christmas. Christmas. We picked that up for five bucks. And then th there's all these comics here. These Ryan are just going to get lotted together. Yep. And the, they came with these ones actually. And these ones are 20 to 25 bucks a piece. A couple Bibles. 50 cents a piece. We paid for those. Yeah. This one I think is going to be pretty good even though it has a name on it. And then uh, this one here I know is going to be like 30, 35. Any of these Nelson uh, study Bibles seem to go for pretty good money. So 50 cents, pick it up. Got some Johnny Cash albums here. I'm not sure the value. Paul picked up this router. Is that what this is? Yeah, router. Yeah, router. Three bucks? Two. Two bucks. I think it's listed for like $17.99. Some cheaper video games here. Um, this actually came. This is for this stuff. Uh, I picked up a bunch of like alternative and rock and metal uh, CDs for 25 cents a piece. And then some more video game stuff here. Uh, there is one nice game, the Sega Dreamcast game. You guys should look out for this one. We already listed this for $100 with free shipping. Um, this is a good one. So hopefully this game here pays for pretty much everything you see on the table. Uh, should we go to train stuff now? Yeah, go ahead. All right, you guys, as you can see, there's a whole Whole bunch here. A little backstory on this train stuff. Uh, I was just surfing Craigslist and came across a train collection. The guy said he didn't know what he had and that he wanted to look it up with somebody and then make, make a fair offer. I contacted him off of Craigslist. He gave us a backstory, bought a house to flip. This stuff was in the back of the house and he knew it was worth some money, but he didn't know much about it. So he packed it all up in totes, brought it to his house. We looked up some stuff there and then we realized we knew we wanted to buy it and the, Ryan actually made the deal with the guy Ryan said throw out a price to us because he didn't know how much and he said throw out your highest price that you're gonna insult us <laughs> and he threw out a $500 price and we jumped on it immediately because we would have paid $1,500 for this Paul would have talked him down but I, I I, I'm too nice <laughs> I talked him down immediately and I said 400 but at 500 we think we're uh, doing really really well so you can obviously go through now and show them. Where should I start? There. Right here? Yeah. All right. These are complete sets too. These, There's four of them here. I'll open it up. But they're CP rail complete set intermodal cars. Are each of them different? I don't know. I, I only opened this one so far. We're going to kind of go through this stuff really quick, you guys. If you want to see like a more detailed video about it, just pay attention to our sales videos because uh, I'm sure we'll be moving into listing these pretty quick here. Yep, CP Over the next again. few weeks. Same we, one. Same exact set, yep. that's cool. So along that same line, has got another box of similar. Like, All these boxes are gonna be similar like that. All right, and then uh, we got some quality HO, some Lionel train cars. Heather's holding up something here, it's pretty good. This is a good one. Key We're, Imports, that's a New York Central steam locomotive. That's going to be like 250 bucks. Yeah, so right there might be half of our money coming back right there. So that's really good. I'll go back over to the front here. This was a good box, right, Paul? Yeah, these are Weaver uh, 3 rail. And if you look them up on eBay, these are all just cars. But Weaver 3 rail, for some reason, they're averaging, I'd say, 40 bucks a piece, and then here's a box of 30-something of them. Yeah, and you can see this box was loaded. We just took a few of them out here so you can kind of see a little bit better. And the next are these K-Line passenger cars. These are O-Gauge or N-Scale even. I think they might be N. They're pretty big. 
But those have some good value. I think they're 30, 40 bucks a piece. Some Still of them may be better. O scale. O scale right there. And then we got this AHM. These are a bunch of obviously rail cars. They're uh, HO scale. And I think these were lesser value, but yeah. I mean, you could see the numbers that we got. So but they're cool because they're brands. Yeah, yeah, it is so cool. So people like to collect these if they like the brand. I don't know if they're all real brands, but... What we'll do is we'll probably take our time a little bit, go through, check each one, put them in a pile to lot up or to list separately, and then go from there. There's another bin, obviously more of the same stuff, but this is Concor Railroad. So I haven't heard of these yet. And then there's five or six of these Walther's uh rail cars in there and these are the gold line ones these are probably 50 60 bucks a set and then more stuff i haven't even looked at yet where is it? this is concord again yeah concord and you the can see box, this is a whole layers yeah was it two layers deep so i don't know how my camera work was right then are these like models that you put together no, no, no. i see Some are sealed yeah Some are sealed. i see this stuff on the side it made me think of models What's that? Little random stuff. Little accessories and stuff. Lionel train clock. Clock. Here's, Here's some Rail King stuff. Me yep. and Paul actually picked up uh, a giant train lot, probably what, a decade ago yeah, now? 10 years ago. Uh, 7,500 we spent. We actually have one car downstairs still from, from that, that lot uh, that Paul had recently found in his house. In my basement. That's separate from my house, you guys. <laughs> I haven't seen these yet. This is River River Osari. I've uh, never even heard of this HO gauge. So all sorts of new stuff I've never even seen before. The famous. A I've never even coach. heard of Weaver before. I had no idea. What's that uh this one right here? This is yeah. a decanter. It's just That's decanter. all that is? Yep, it's a decanter. Oh, Jim yeah. Beam. Did you Casey look it Jones up? locomote. No, I didn't. We've had bad luck with decanters. I hate decanters. <laughs> but we'll take it. Just that another, cool, yeah, this stuff, pen line. And a lot of this, you guys, we haven't looked up at all. I think when we were at this, uh, at the sale. We looked up like two uh, or three things. Yeah, a, a piece, deal. and then we kind of just made a deal. There was so much. This is pretty cool. It's from the 90s, but What cool. brand is that? A H M. No, Aaron. No. Whatever that is. Uh, yeah. Theron. Theron. You back up, Paul? Yep. Yeah. Does that come out of this one? Yeah. I mean that. I don't it's know cool. that this tote is loaded with stuff. To the bottom. Yeah. So there's multiple layers here. There is some loose track and stuff that'll be you know more difficult and time consuming to deal with. But just a loaded up tote. This one had how many of these? There's six of them. There's six of these. Seven. I think. I think they were. 20, 20 25 bucks a piece. They're all brand new seal and they're all identical. Correct. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, different. so that'll be a quantity listing. Quantity listing. And then, this is all just one off stuff in this tote, just stuff we couldn't find uh, boxes for. But here's some K line cars. I haven't looked any of these up actually. More of this Etherns. This is, it feels like an engine actually. This is an engine or it's metal. Yeah. You can see on the side of this Lionel here, there's like $70 price tags originally. Tons of accessories. Random. Oh yeah, probably just for somebody lot who's up, building a challenge. Yeah. If you get, even if you go back to like this Weaver stuff, look at the price tags originally. And I don't know when do you think this is from the '90s. Yeah, I have no clue. I don't even know. So thirty, forty dollars a piece on them back then. So. And then you got this box right here is full of locomotives. And I'll flip it open. You can see this one with its tender. Now, and then it, I looked up one of these, and I want to say it was like 130 or something, but I don't know if they're all. Then there's a Pennsylvania one. You can just tell that those ones are nicer. I mean, they're just littered in here, stacked upon stacked. Oh, these stopped. are engines also. Okay. Still a bunch of them, though. I'm pretty sure these are good ones. They got to be. What did you say with this, Heather? This, uh... Uh, this, is, this is a, a local fair train or something? It's not local, but this was the straight shows used to do all the rides at the state fairs in the U.S. back in the 90s. Not really sure where they stand right now, but kind of a cool piece. That's why you see the carnival kind of like logo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. When we were bringing that in, she mentioned that immediately. I had no idea. 
I don't know about any of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, if any of you guys are silly. railroad, uh, model railroad uh, fans and want to let us know anything that you see that as, uh, stands out as something valuable or hard to find, let us know. This uh, Walther's. Wal Walther's brand, if you go to this next long tote, they're just stacked in here like cordwood. cordwood. And they have original prices of like probably 15 to 25 on a lot of this stuff. Here's a vintage box right here too. And they're all, you know, New. taken care of really, really well, packaging and everything. This is a vintage <clears throat> box right here. These are old HO scale, Lionel, and obviously Tyco here, but these are old. Them out. What gauge is that? HO. Schlitz beer. Oh, that's gonna be good, I think. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania a caboose. Pennsylvania stuff. Here's the Lionel stuff. Does the Tyco have years on them at all? Because they do with the slot cars that we used to buy. Know. Yeah, there's not much identifying these at all on the package. Yeah. Well, like you can tell they've got a good mix of new and old stuff here depending on oh, what yeah. era you collect because look at how old this box is. Yeah, it's definitely got some age. Kind of, He kind of collected stuff from like uh, different eras of train collecting. Yeah, so we'll just have to take our time and kind of go through these. Here's another box of vintage stuff here. There's an engine in here. A lot of these are metal, heavy duty ones. Uh, this one here has, I think there was just a ton of like, there's some cars and stuff, but there's a lot of calendars. All the calendars are brand new. I don't know if those will have much value, but yeah, but as you can see, $500 in. We'll keep track in a book of, of how much, you know, this stuff, how much we make off this stuff once we do start listing it. Paul probably wants to get at this pretty quick, right? I want to start listing this tomorrow. I, actually, we gotta, we're gonna weigh some of these up to see if we can get them under a pound to ship priority if we can't. And then we're gonna obviously order boxes right away and get them shipped here so we can send them out all parcel select to save the buyer actually money. Yeah. Priority right. mail is ridiculous right we'll, now. We'll, we'll, pay, we'll pay 60, 80 cents a box to, you know, have a box that fits every single one of these correctly so it can go out the door. Um, yeah, is there anything else you want to say about the deal or anything? Well, hopefully this table right here pays for the whole day. We spent $600 on the day. I'm really hoping this table pays for it, but, and this is all this train stuff, just pure profit. It should this be, is going to be one of our best deals, I it think. It should be pretty damn close to paying for the whole thing. Yeah. It should get us close to it. Um, yeah, that's it for right now, you guys. Um, we could have went in more detail with this, but it would have took forever. So, like I said, if you want to pay attention, as we list this and sell it, we'll be doing what sold videos so you can kind of get a better idea of like, you know, the total amount of value. And then eventually we'll do like a book kind of video, kind of summarizing the whole thing. Anything else you guys want to say at all? You need I'm to good. learn Excel. I need to learn Excel <laughs> so I don't have to write in a book. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah, thank Bye. you. Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.